Grade 3 Math, Lesson 15, Regroup or Carry Over. What does it mean to regroup or carry over? It means to put the numbers into the next place value. Place value in a number is the number where the places sit. If you had 234, 234 written like this, the 4 is in the 1's place, the 3 is in the 10's place, and the 2 is in the 100's place. That means you have 4 1's, 3 10's, and 2 100's. 200, 30, and a 4. This is 100 squares, and this is 100 squares. That's 2 100's. This is 10 squares, this is 10 squares, and this is 10 squares. So you have 3 10's, or 30. Here's four little squares, so you have four ones. See? Now, what happens if you put too many into one column? Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine squares. That's all the ones can hold. The minute you add one more, it becomes a ten, a bar of ten. and the ones all go away. It's now a 10. Same thing happens if you got nine tens. If you added another 10, it wouldn't be able to fit here. It would have to go into the hundreds place and you would have one box of hundred. See, if you got nine of these, that's okay. But the minute you add a 10th bar to the tens place, it becomes a hundred because there's 10 bars here in each box. So, Think of it as buckets. You don't want the buckets to overflow. The ones bucket can hold nine ones. The tens bucket can hold nine tens. The hundreds bucket can hold nine hundreds. If you add one more, look at this. What if the bucket was this tall, long, skinny bucket like this? And here's the handle. And it could hold nine little one boxes. The minute you wanted to add one bucket one cup more of water, which would be the tenth cup, it wouldn't be able to hold it. It would overflow. So what you'd have to do is put it into the tens bucket because they can lay sideways like that. See? So it would fit. And you could put another ten and another ten and another ten and another ten. See? You could have all these tens coming down like this. And again, when you got to nine, it would be up to the top because it can only hold nine. When you got one more 10 that you wanted to add to it, it would go into the hundreds bucket. So let's look at this addition problem. We have 230 and 4, 234. We have 180 and 7, 187. That means there's two tens, I mean two hundreds, three tens, and four ones, and 108 tens and seven ones. When you're adding, you're only allowed to put one number in the column. You can't put two numbers here. 7 plus 4 is 11. You can't put the 11 there. It's only allowed to have one digit. So, the one that's in the ones place is going to go here, and this one that's in the tens place is going to go into the tens column, because it's a 10. See? Because we know that's ones and that's tens. Now we're going to add the tens. So remember, these are not ones, these are tens that we're adding. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So now we have 12 tens. Well, 12 tens is actually 120. Because here's the 12 tens, and we need a ones place. See? It makes it become 120. All right? That's why 12 tens is 120. There's really a ones place right here. See? So now we have these 12, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We can't put a 12 here. So what we do is we put two of the 10s here, and the one that's in this side is really 100. See? We put the two 10s here, and we put the 100 over here. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4. And that gives us 421, and we've carried over the numbers that were in the next column in the next place value. If we added it this way, okay, in the break apart way, 
we've got 7 and 4 is 11. Well, we'll put the 1 here. And because 11 is a 1 and, and, one, and 110, we have to put the 10 over here for the 11, because 10 plus 1 is 11, right? So now we're going to add this. We have 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. Well, we can't do that. We can't put that here. We can only put tens here. So what's going to happen is this hundred is going to go over here. See? Because only tens can be in a break apart. So now we add the 100, 200, 300, 400. And when you add these together, you got 420 and a 1. Now, this is the break apart method, and that's why I was able to put a couple digits down here. But normally in math, you can only fit one number in each column. Let's try this one. 376 plus 288. Remember, we can only put one number in each column. 8 plus 6 is 14. We can only put the 4 here. And this 1 has to be carried over into the tens column. 8 plus 7 is 15, and one more is 16. We can't put both digits here for the 16. So the 6 is going to go here, and the 1 is going to be carried over. And we always remember to count the carryover number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 376 plus 288 is 664, and we carried over two times. Sometimes when you're adding lots of numbers, you would end up carrying over more than a 1. 8 plus 6 is 14, plus 4 more is 18, plus 7 more is 25. So we're actually going to put the 5 here and carry over the 2. See? So it's not only just 1's that get carried over. If you're adding a lot of numbers, it could be a 2, a 3, a 4, it could be any number. It's whatever is in the left-handed side place value that needs to be carried over. Okay? So that's regrouping and carrying over. Remember that you have ones, tens, and hundreds. You don't want your buckets to overflow. Each one only holds a group of nine. And when you get to that tenth one, it's got to go into the next bucket. Okay? If you like my videos, please subscribe, and I hope you watch my next one.